Hoyaverse really gave us too much of what we didn't ask for. Add Astra Applesauce. Hey everyone, this is Ticolate, and today I will show you how to cut down the Sumeru Mansion in any height you prefer. First of all, we need to buy the seed from Tubby, and this will unlock the Sumeru Realm. There is no doubt that the scenery is mesmerizing, but we need to customize something to make it better. First, place down the big sized boulders to create a 3x3 layout. It doesn't have to be the subspace boulders, however in the middle part you have to use a non-floating boulder. And with the snap height toggled on in settings, match the height of the floating boulders with the height of the non-floating boulder in the middle. The gaps in between don't matter because the building is huge anyways. Now carefully place the main building at the center. Once it's on, it should stick onto the middle non-floating boulder. Zoom in your camera to select it and put it on the side for now. Because up next, I will show you how to sink this very tall structure. So please pay attention. Increase the height of this boulder until you hit the height of 28.5. I will be using two floating rocks because they are short. This is important, since they are near the height limit, you don't want to use the big floating boulders for this step because they would go over the height limit of 30 when you pop them up onto the 28.5 boulder. Now just slide one of the floating rocks downwards until it hits the ground. Clear the area and drag the non-floating boulders to be placed on that floating rock. Adjusting your camera angle will help you pop it on top of that floating rock. Select the other floating rock and click edit set. This will serve as an anchor for the entire set. Finally, just slide it off the floating boulder to reduce its height. To be honest, I think this is the lowest you can sink the Sumeru mansion down into the ground. If you want to use the middle part of the mansion, Zoom in to select the floating rock and increase its height. This floating boulder is the reference to the actual ground, so just compare the height of the stairs to the surface of the floating boulder. Once you've set it to a new height, repeat the steps and again, just slide it off the floating boulder. If you are still confused about how syncing glitch works, I made a thorough tutorial that might help you out. If you have any questions about the Serenity teapot in general, just leave a comment in any of my videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.